Session 2.2, Summarizing Important Features of a Numerical Distribution. First part, we're going to talk about the ship. Three basic characteristics of ship. The first one, you guys need to recognize what is the distribution. Will it be like the symmetric, skew to the left, skew to the right, or uniform distribution? Second one, you need to count how many months appear. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the example. The last one, are unusually large or small values persons. Remember on the session 2.1, we talk about it. what is the unusually large or small values. We talk that will be the outliers. Remember, if some of the data is going to be far away from the majority, we're going to say those are outliers. Shape. Normal distribution or symmetric. Okay, what's the meaning of symmetric? Left and right side roughly the same. Okay, if you draw the line in here, you're gonna say on the left hand side here will be roughly about the same with the right hand side. For the shape, I need you guys remember we do have a four distribution. The first one that'll be the normal distribution. This is what we're looking for in the statistic. And that's another word, say normal distribution. Sometimes we call this is the bell shape. Okay, the bell shape here. Second one, uniform distribution. This is also symmetric. Uniform distribution means the data is roughly the same the number of times. So sometimes you may see the straight line here. In the middle, when you cut it half, it's going to be symmetric. The left hand side is roughly the same with the right hand side here. Uniform distribution. The third one and the fourth one with the skewed data. Most of the data is on one side with long tail or the other side. So look at this example. You can see the white tail here is longer. So we're going to say this is a skew to the right. Okay, always look at the tail. If the white tail is longer, we call skew to the right. And this one, the left tail is longer. So we're going to say this is a skew to the left. Okay. And for these two distribution, for the skew to the right, this is the typical shape for the distribution of a variable in which most values are relatively small, but there are also a few very large values. Okay, so most of the value is going to be four on here. And then we only have a few very large data in here. So think about it, this example, hours of TV per week. So most of the people watch about like from 10 to 20 hours per week to watch the television. Okay, only a few of the people, they will spend like about like 40 hours per week to watch the TV. Okay, so you're going to see majority of the data is going to be hap happens in here. Only few data will have the large values. Um, other example may be like salary. Okay, most people earn in the low or medium range of the salaries. They will be falling in here. Um, only like few exceptions like the CEO, the doctors or professionals. They earn a lot, so the data is going to be falling from here. So this is the skill to the right distribution, salary. Okay, Okay. how about this one? For this one, most value are relatively large, but there are also a few very small values. So you could think about what this is example for the grade, okay, out of 32. So majority of the students get like pretty good result from here. Only few of them will be fail for this exam. Okay, so this is a skill to the left example. And also other example will be Example will be the age of the death from natural cause like the heart disease, cancer, because people getting older, they may have a higher chance to get the heart disease or cancers. So majority data is going to be falling from here. Not many young people will get the cancer or the heart disease. So only few data is going to be here. So the age of the death from natural cause will be the skew to the left. Okay, second one, the months. 
that classify data by how many months are present. The unit model, one main month. So this is the normal distribution. So, so we only see one month in here by model. So you can see we do have a two main months in here. Multi-model, more than two main months. So uh, I don't have the example here, but you guys can imagine the picture is going to be like this, but that will be more than two. Okay, maybe one more month here. Months. Keep in mind, months can be different heights. Okay, this is talking about like this example. This is a bio model. We do have two months, but they have a different height in here. Bimodal and multimodal data may indicate existence of different groups within the data. I'm going to show you guys the example. In this case, it may be preferable to separate the data into two groups and provide separate graph for each group. So example, men and women's height. So I use this one, the bimodal here. Um, this is one of the graphs showing the men's height and the woman's height because men's height is relatively taller than the woman, okay? So you may guess this is the men's height and this is the woman's height. So if it happens, we may want to separate two sets of the data. One data is only for the man and one data is only for the woman. Then you're going to construct um, the histogram and you will see more accurate data for the man's height and the woman's height. And other example would be the afternoon and evening sales at the restaurant. People usually go to the restaurant during lunch hour or the dinner hours. So I could guess they may have the by models just like this one. So if it is the case, you may want to separate the lunch sales and the dinner sales with two different histograms. Okay, why not the mode? Mode, the category that occurs most frequently. In general, it is not wish to use the mode for numerical data, particularly if trying to read it from the histogram. Mode is talking about um, that category occurs most often, but in the histogram, we seldom use the mode. Because the mode is located depends on the width of the beans. So look at this example. Remember the histogram, we could change the bin width. If I only look at this histogram, the mole will be about from 80 to 90. Okay, but if we change the bin width, the mole it will be coming like 90 something. Okay, so we don't want to use the mole for the numerical data. Mole is only good for categorical data. Okay, example. What shape would you expect to see in the histogram of the following data set? We do have a GPA core students, S80 score, last digit of social security number for a random sample of students, and the income of United States residents. So you do have a four distribution, remember? Uh, the first one will be the normal distribution, the bell shape. Second one will be uniform distribution. Okay, all the data is about like the same frequency number. And we do have the skew to the right. The white tail is longer. And we do have a skew to the left. The left tail is longer. So think about which distribution we'll be using for the following data set. I give you guys some time to work on it. Okay, the example, the first one, GPA of college students. So think about it. If I have a histogram here, the graph is going to be looks like this. We have a one GPA, one, two, three, four. Okay, 
So that will be the GPA in here. And then think about what will be, you have a four choice. First one, normal distribution. Second one, you do have a uniform distribution. Number three, you will have a skill to the right. And then number four, you do have a skill to the left in here. Okay, you do have a, this four distribution. GPA of core students, I would say most data will be falling from this here, All right? So uh, only few of the students will get like fail close to the zero or one. So I would say the shape is gonna be looks like that one. Okay, so this is gonna be the skill to the left. Skill to the left, all right? The left tail is longer, okay? Okay, second one, the SAT score, okay? SAT score, um, all the students take the exam. For this one, I would say it's gonna be the normal distribution. Majority of the students will be about average. Only field data is really high, only field data is gonna be really low. So this is gonna be normal distribution. Okay, the bell shape. Okay, number three. Last digit of a social security numbers for a random sample of the students. So think about it. The last digit of the social security numbers, you could choose 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. They're going to randomly choose the number from 0 to 9. If you guys remember the probability, to getting all those numbers by random, they do have the same chance of a probability. So I would say... For the last digit of the social security number for random pick, that will be the uniform distribution. Okay, uniform distribution. Last one, the income of United States residents. Okay, this one is similar to the idea of a salary, right? Majority of the people will be learning the outcome is about the same. Only few of the professional, like the CEO professional, will learn a lot. Okay, so the white tail is longer. So that will be skill to the right. Okay. One more time, I need you guys remember the distribution. Okay, these four shapes of the distribution. Skill to the left, skill to the right, uh, normal distribution, and also the uniform distribution. Okay, right? Next part. Extreme values. Remember how to call the extreme values? The outliers. Okay, outliers, extremely large or small values. Okay, it can be really, really large data or it can be really, really small data. Or all the data far away from the majority, they'll be calling outliers. And data values that don't fit the pattern of the rest of the data. Just like here, only one data is not really fit on here. Not precisely defined, okay, subject to opinion. So, um... You may say, hey, how far is the data will be calling outliers? If the data here is obviously, but how about like if I put it in 1000, how about in a 600, still consider outliers. Uh, later on, I'm going to teach you guys the method how to define the outliers. Okay, but right now, just keep in mind that extremely large or extremely small values, that's considered outliers. Okay, when you see the extremely large or small values, report the values. This is talking about when you try to collect the data and then you do have a, some extremely large or small values, 
you have to take it out. Okay? Realize they could be the source of error. It means like typos. Okay, we may make a mistake. Uh, we may want to put like uh, 250, but when we type it in, I put like 520. Okay, it may be the typos. Junior outlines are unusually interesting data values. It may be the true data. Okay, it may be the true data. It happens to the outliers. Okay, center, the typical data value. Example, a movie waiting website provides audience waiting for a large number of movies. Wait on a 0 to 10 point scale, with 10 being the best. A histogram depicting the distribution of the score for the films that were in English. What is the typical rating? Okay, typical rating means which one is going to be the center. Okay, you could see about like here. This is going to be the center. The highest one here. So the center of the distribution about 6.5 to 7. Okay, 6.5 to 7 points. So we may say that the typical weighting is roughly 6.5 to 7. Okay, I need you guys to remember center and also another way to say is a typical data value appears most often or you could say highest frequency. Okay, that would be the center or the typical data value. Okay, variability. Variability. Variability, how spread out a set of data is. So you could see these two histograms here. The first one here, all the data is really, really close to each other. However, the second one, the data is kind of spread it out. Okay, so what is this example? Figure below shows the total tuition and fees in 2014 for a public and private school. So this is the tuition and fees for public school. You could see um, the people paying about like no more than 20,000, okay, for the public college. But here, this one, this is the private school. The people can pay like about like 50,000. Wow, that's really expensive, right? So we could say for the private school, we do have a greater variability than the public school. How does the variability in cost compare between this type of institution? So you could say the variability among private school is much greater than the among the public school. Private school costs spend about 50,000. And then the four year college for the public school is about like 20,000 in here. Descripting numerical distribution, the summary. Always remember to describe a numerical distribution using these three components. First, the shape. What shape is it? Uh, normal distribution, uniform distribution, skill left or skill right. Center, the typical value, the highest frequency one. Number three, variability. Do they have a uh, spread out data or all the data is going to be coming together, okay? Okay, look at this example, the shoe size. The graph shows shoe size for men and women. Compare shapes, center, and the spread and mention if there are outliers. Okay, so you can see this is a shoe size of men, a little bit bigger, and this is the shoe size of a woman. So first, I want you guys to think about it. Uh, what distribution is it? What shape is it? And then compare the center, the typical value. Okay, what's the size of the center of the man? What's the size of the center of the woman? I give you guys a minute to work on it. Okay, symmetric unit model. This one is kind of the symmetric. I don't really agree with this one though. All right, symmetric we usually apply it for normal distribution or uniform distribution, but this one I don't really see the symmetric. Okay, but this is the model answer. Unit model. 
So they only have a one mang here, one mang here. This is okay. This is true. And then for the center, for the shoe size of men is about like here. So which is from 10 to 11. Okay, from 10 to the 11. And then how about the woman here? That will be about 7 to 8. Okay, or 8. The center of the shoe size of men is greater than the woman here. And then the spread out of the data. So you can see the wing is going to be from 8 to the 12 in here. This is from 5 to the 10. Okay, so the data of the woman is more spread out here. And the outliers, do they have any outliers? No, right? They don't have any data far away from the majority. So no outlier. Okay.